Hi guys, it's uh, Tuesday night here in Manila, so I'm going to go ahead and record my midweek Chase unboxing video. Uh, so for a lot of you guys, by the time it's uploaded, it'll be like Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon for you guys in America and Europe and Russia and things like this. So um, anyways, I'm doing some green body green machines today, my favorite greenies. As I said, like in past videos, I'm kind of steering clear of just the green wheel, green machines. I don't know. I'm just kind of losing interest in them. Unless it's a Mopar, I'll still pick it up. Or if it's a peg find, of course, I'll pick it up. But really, I'm searching for the green bodied greenies um, or green tire greenies, something like that. I don't mind the green wheels as long as like they are... Um, I don't know, in combination with green paint, like uh, the Charger over here from Supernatural. And as you can see, my cover photo or my thumbnail photo was labeled Supernatural Green Machines because we have two of them today. And as I mentioned in the past video, it's not your typical like Impala greenie either. Actually, I don't even have that car in my collection. I need to pick one of them up again. Uh, but anyways, uh, I got the 70 Charger. Uh, then I have Bobby's 71 Chevelle. Uh, then I have as a bonus a green body uh, 100th anniversary of Dodge 67 Dodge Coronet RT. Uh, then I also have the regular of the Charger and the regular of the Coronet. Kind of give you a comparison to see the differences. But green machines are pretty obvious like what the differences are. But anyways, um, in the background, usually I take out all of my cars from this barn or old garage, body shop, whatever you'd like to refer to it as. But today I left a bunch of them because of the fact that these are all movie cars and they're beater movie cars, which I really dig this beater project in progress look from uh, like Green Light, Johnny Lightning, even M2 does it. So a lot of them do it. And I love that look. And I actually have a couple chase cars that are these uh, projects in project progress. And Bobby Chevelle is one of them. So actually, since I'm on that topic and I don't have a regular version of Bobby Chevelle to show you guys, we'll start with it. Um, and really, with this one, there's not much difference between the green machine and the regular. The regular is also green, but it's a very light, dull green. So, uh, then, then also Target has a greeny of this, but it's, I don't know what I call those, like uh, Target chase cars or red chases or red machines or whatever you want to refer to it as. Not really a green machine because the uh, like trademark chase feature is red. It's just the Chevelle all stock, even stock pale green color, but it has red tires, which I think is really cool. I'd like to pick that one up because as I said, I'm a color tire kind of fan. So uh, let's get him out take a look at him and the other side is like even more beat up than this side which as I said I kind of dig that look um, not on everything I mean I do like my mint show car look too but these beaters are kind of cool too and this one would like go very well in this barn setup uh, even though it's got like this shiny beautiful emerald green with like primer spots all over it and scratches and things like that and it's supposed to be like missing a turn signal on this side and then let's see here where was Bobby from New York New York plates so yeah cool car the windshield's like so dirty i don't even know how these guys seen out of it looks like it was a vinyl top car at one point because of the way the rust is on the roof but i don't know because it's got green spots coming through so who knows the history behind bobby chevelle uh then you see it has a gold door uh then half primered fender pretty cool car I got the Christine uh, that you see down there by the barn in Chase variants too. I showed you guys that in my Christine video and it's pretty cool too. 
So yeah, very cool. Opening hood car too, big block. And this one's nice. The motor is fitting on this one. Some of the chargers and Mopars, the motors are like really, really tiny on the green light variants. Uh, especially like the Daytona and the 68 and 69 chargers. They look like a 187 scale size engine. It looks ridiculous. Um, but on the Chevelle, they got it pretty much spot on for the big block. So really cool. Greeny, just different than what you typically would see. And as I said, it's subtle greeny. Um, and it actually, like I said, would blend in down here with these other beaters. This guy is actually from Supernatural 2. I'd like to find the greeny of him, the Challenger, with the little rust spots, a primer door, and such. And this car's got the issue that the Charger has, these big truck tires. I don't know why they use these big, fat tires. All the Challengers have these big, fat tires. Unless they have the Magnum 500-style wheels, then the tires look good on the Challenger. But they use these truck style whole wheels and tires on a lot of vehicles and it kind of ruined them. They had it on the Kill Bill Charger, 71 Charger, and I pulled them off and put Mopar rallies on it from another green light car. So yeah, I just wanted to keep these out to kind of show you that's another supernatural car. So it's fitting with tonight's theme. So here is their charger, and this guy's got green wheels, which is fine with me because it's got the green body, so pretty cool um, looking chase car. So let's get him out and take a look at him, and I got the regular variant down there, the black with the white tail stripe to show you guys. Um, So there you go. Green Machine number two. The 70 Charger. I don't know who drove this in the show. I'm not a big Supernatural fan. I've seen some of the shows and stuff, but didn't really follow it too much. It's a cool show, cool series, but um, as I said, didn't really follow it too much. And let me see if the hood opened easily on this greenie. Yeah, there you go. Now see how ridiculously small the engine looks in this car? That's what I mean by like the Chargers and Daytonas. The engines are like way, way, way too tiny. Like, granted, the valve covers were bigger on a big block Chevy compared to a big block Mopar, but not this much bigger. And the Mopar big block was as wide as a Chevy big block. So, um, yeah, it, it's way out of place in that car. So, but still, yeah, nice casting, beautiful casting. I just, because of the motor size, not that big of a deal. And it seems like the back tires here do not roll freely, like it's rubbing on something. But, hey, it's green machine, stays in the cabinet, so no big deal. Your hideaway headlights with the chrome wraparound front bumper. That's how you distinguish a 70 is this chrome wraparound front bumper. And on the green light casting, you can't really see it, but the front fenders are a few inches longer on the 70 compared to a 68 and 69. Um, but yeah, on their casting, you really can't see that uh, difference. I don't have a 68 or 9 out here to show you. Uh, also, the RTs had these door scoops on it, too, and the tail lights were different from the 69 to the 70. But the dead giveaway is the front fenders and the front bumper. If all else fails, just remember the chrome wraparound front bumper distinguishes it as a 70. It's a nice car. I love this green paint. That's why I said these are the chase ones I want, like the Ultra Reds from uh, Auto World and such. I love the colored, uh, like the paint color chase cars or something that, I don't know, is better than just green wheels and green base. 
and this guy I didn't even show you the number on the other one this guy is in the uh, regular lineup 3685 uh, so I know they didn't make that many greenies here's the regular one and he is 6537 and there he is in black actually I like it better in black with the white tail stripe even if the green had to go uh, chrome wheels, I don't think I would like it as much as the black. The black looks really slick. Although, as I said, the green color, I do love this green color. So, pretty cool greeny. Overall, pretty cool car. I just wish it had different wheels and tires on it. But, hey, not too bad, though. It's... They're just a little bit too fat. That was like one of the biggest complaints with collectors with green light are these big, fat, wide tires. They've changed it up a lot on some cars. And um, like the Chevelle, it has nice sized tires. And actually, when we got him up here, let's take a look and see. Some cars don't even have numbers anymore. He does. It looks like he's number 66 in the group of greenies. Okay, so, anyways, that's, uh, like I said, one of the complaints that people had with green light were these big fat tires. So let's get the last one out of the package here. This is a few years back. This is also Mopar. Kind of fits with the Supernatural theme because the guys are big Mopar and Chevy guys. Mainly Chevy guys, it seems like, in the show. Although they had a Mustang, a green light 67 Fastback Mustang that I would like to get my hands on, too. Because it just fits in this series. Um, but, anyways, here's the 67 Dodge Coronet from the 100th anniversary of Dodge. 1914 to, I guess this came out in 2014 maybe no actually it looks like they were a year or so late 2015 so anyways yeah they were a year late but hey as they say better late than never um so let's get him out and take a look at him i have the regular variant down there in that red this whole series there was like five or six cars in this series and they were all in that candy maroon red whatever you want to call it um, I have the 70 Challenger from the set. They also have a 70 Charger um, and I think a 69 Charger and stuff. And, and there may even be a Daytona in the set. I'm not sure on all of them. I know for sure it's a set, 68 and I think 70 Chargers and then the 67 Coronet and then the 70 Challenger. But this looks really good in this green with the white top, the white interior. This looks like it could be factory. Nice grill, although they didn't put any kind of detailing in the grill. That's kind of what kills this casting. Besides that, this casting is beautiful, like spot on with scaling and body lines. Everything looks great, except the grill is just too flat looking. It should have had some kind of details and let's get the hood open on this one i don't know how the engine looks out ah, this one is a little more fitting as you can see the motor is much bigger much wider it looks appropriate magnum 500 wheels very cool car. The tops on these are plastic because they made a convertible variant of this car. Just like the 70 and 71 Cudas from Greenlight, they have plastic tops because they do that. And Sir Auto World does it too. I have no complaints about it. It's being cost effective with your cast stains, which I don't blame them. See, that's how the grill should have looked. It should have had more detail like the back end here. Because these cars like had that look. You don't know if they're coming or going. It's they had that kind of look to them. But this is very beautiful. Although I have to say I like the red a little better. I just love this red that they used on this anniversary series. And as you can see, that wasn't no error. They did it with all of them. The grill just didn't have much detail. Don't know why they did that. But because everything else they didn't chintz on, like the Dodge emblem on the hood. And 
all the RT badges, the headlights, and things like that, so I don't know why that was overlooked by them. But uh, very nicely done, 67 Coronet RT. And I didn't even look and see what number the greenie is. Uh, this is probably in the regular lineup too, 2887. As I said, sometimes they didn't even like separate greenies and regular production runs. Sometimes they numbered them in with the regular production run. So I'm not sure how many of these are out there. But yeah, both of them are great looking. You could park these on the lot next to each other and it looks like Christmas time. <laughs> the white tops, the green, and the red. Yeah, this would actually make a great Instagram picture <laughs> for Christmas. And by the way, I haven't plugged myself for uh, Instagram for a while. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's same name, just one word, Ron's Muscle Car Garage. I take a bunch of pictures and sometimes you guys will get a sneak peek of like, what's coming up because a lot of times I unbox before I do the video and take pictures and post them on Instagram and then within that week or two I will do the video on the cars so anyways uh, yeah this will probably be my Christmas photo for this year coming up uh, so that is the greenies for today the three and then you see the regular variants got your comparison of the regulars and uh, as I said if it wasn't for these green wheels on the 70 you could pass this off as like a stock looking car too but they did the green wheels which I would have preferred it with chrome don't get me wrong but without um, without the green paint it would have not been so great but with the green paint it makes the green wheels acceptable so it's just like the ultra reds when the ultra reds have red tires it's acceptable to me when it has white tires it's acceptable to me actually once again i dig the colored tires so i would actually prefer i would have preferred the charger with green tires instead of green wheels or all the above green paint green wheels green tires everything green that's why they call it a green machine so why not <laughs> so it doesn't have to look realistic just having more than the green wheels and green base i actually am like was complaining about the raw beforehand but i would rather have the raw green machines than the green wheel green machines nowadays but that's my own personal opinion so let me zoom you guys in on the garage here and we'll go over some of these cars as I said before, the Christine, you've seen him. This was in the Christine video. Uh, also have the Chase variant of this. Very nicely done car by Auto World. Great variant. And actually the regular Christines nowadays don't even have the opening hood. I don't know why, but even my red chrome, the new uh, silver screen edition doesn't have the opening hood. The old silver screen that came with the display case has the opening hood, but the newer ones don't, which I find very strange. But yeah, this is nicely done. And then you got Joe Dirt down here from Green Light. Um, which is also another really cool car. Uh, actually, I seen one uh, Drew's uh, Customs Cars, and sorry, Drew, I don't remember the name of your channel, but he did the Mopar Challenge, and he has a custom of the Joder car, which is much more accurate than Green Lights. He did a great job on that car, as complimenting him on his video about that. It looks great. Um, but this isn't too bad. So it looks pretty cool. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these because the video wasn't dedicated to that. But as I said before, if it kind of fits the theme of the evening, I don't mind going over some other cars with you guys. This was from the Hollywood box set. Um, this is NCIS. Uh, I forget his name. Um, but anyways, the guy, the captain or whatever, um, this is his car. Uh, that he had like stored at his dad's house and he went and got it out and restored it and stuff so anyways this is pretty cool it was in that box set I used to have the Fright Night Mustang from that set too but my friend was a big Mustang fan so I gave it to him 
The Buick back there is just a Johnny Lightning project in progress. The 57 Chrysler 300 around back is an M2 Auto Projects car, um, which is pretty cool too. I've got some other ones inside the building, uh, but yeah, that'll be at another date. We'll go over those. So this is our Greeny uh, Chase unboxing for this week. This weekend on Saturday, I'm going to be doing a comparison and review. I haven't done one of those for a few weeks for my free-for-all weekend, so I figure we'll do a comparison and review. I'm going to take a look at the 1980s Monte Carlo, like the body style of 81 to 88, predominantly looking at the SS, but there's a couple of regular ones that I have non-SS, and we'll be looking at the brands of Maisto, uh Johnny Lightning, Green Light, and then a couple of Hot Wheels. Actually, I have to borrow the Hot Wheels from my son because I don't have any like mainline Hot Wheels in my collection anymore. I gave most of them to him. So I have to take those back so I have them for the comparison this weekend. But that should be interesting. As I said before, I'm a big G-Body fan. You guys got a glimpse of them in the display case the other day. So we'll be taking all those out and looking at them, at least all the Monte Carlos anyways, and we'll be unboxing one from Green Light from the Hobby Shop series, so um, make sure you guys tune back in for that, and as usual, um, please like the video and share the video, uh, and then if you have not subscribed yet, remember to do so. And also remember to turn on your notifications so you know when I'm doing these videos, but it's kind of like clockwork. Beginning of the week, I always do a premium unboxing. Midweek, I do a chase unboxing. And then Saturdays is a free-for-all now. Um, it's kind of up in the air what I'll do, like a challenge, a comparison review. But yeah, always uh, do the three videos. Beginning of the week, midweek, and weekend videos. So... Um, make sure you turn on your notifications though so you get the alerts because sometimes you don't see them. So anyways guys, I appreciate you watching, pre appreciate you subscribing, commenting, everything. I will always try to respond to all the comments. So thanks again for your support and uh, all of you take care and be safe and I will see you on Saturday. Thanks for watching.